Okay, today I will be refuting the speech given by a fellow classmate that said that they claim that video games are beneficial to the players overall. The, claim, the secondary claims that he presented were that uh, one, video games help players develop many useful traits such as improved accuracy, attention, memory, and decision making. Two, that video games have a positive effect on players' overall health. And three, that video games benefit players' social lives. Um, so the first claim, which talks about uh, that video games help players develop many useful <coughs> traits, this has been refuted by a study specifically for um, older people who, uh, there was a test, give the firm, sorry, there was a study by, the, by a team of researchers at Florida State University which um, experimented with 60 adults ages 65 and over. They had them play 45 minutes of brain training games per day for a month. The, one of the team members, Professor Wally Boot, who is an expert on age-related cog cognitive decline, stated that their findings in previous studies conclude, uh, confirm there's very little evidence that these type of games can improve your life in a meaningful way. The team concluded that there was no significant improvement in the working memory which is basically like day-to-day um, -day memory usage, like if you forgot where your keys were at. And, um, so these games don't significantly improve their working memory. Um, so the second claim that the, uh, that the advocate used was that um, video games have a positive effect on players' health and that they can um, train certain parts of your brain and help it to grow. This claim is only partly true and uh, there was a study by the University of Montreal which found a correlation between action video games and an increased risk of Alzheimer's and dementia due to a certain portion of the brain shrinking when playing action video games. Um, basically, they took 100 participants, split them into two groups, and had them had one half play 90 hours of action video games and the other half play uh, Super Mario for 90 hours. They found that 85% of the participants who played the action video games had a significant decrease in a portion of the brain called the hippocampus, which is responsible for um, short and long-term memory. They found that this could be this could lead to a significant increase in the risk of dementia, Alzheimer's, um, schizophrenia, PTSD, and depression. So the claim that he made that that um, video games can help train certain parts of your brain to grow is only partly true and. Um, is refuted by that study. The third claim that the advocate used was that video games can benefit uh, social lives of players. There was a study done by uh, BYU of uh, undergraduate students, uh, which involved 813 students that uh, were around the nation. They surveyed these students and asked them about their um, video game habits as well as their relationship quality. They found a correlation between um, young adults who use video games and uh, poor relationship quality with their friends and family. Basically, that as video game usage time went up, the quality of the relationship with their friends and family went down. Uh, researcher Laura Walker from that team of researchers stated that young adults remove themselves from important social settings to play video games, and people often uh, who often have struggles with their relationships are trying to find uh, other ways to spend their time, and that leads to increased video game use. There was another study done by the Pew Research Center of Internet and Technology uh, that found that, oh, sorry, let me go back a little bit. The advocate also claimed that many gamers have an online presence, and gaming supplements their social circle. However, this uh, research done by the Pew Research Center of Internet and Technology found that uh, out of 761 gamers, 47% of the female gamers claim that they never play with another person online and they're completely isolated from uh, the social aspect of it, while 27% claim that they only play uh, with another person like maybe once a month. So this refutes the idea that online gaming promotes social benefits for all gamers. Um, so. In conclusion, uh, the idea that video games have a positive effect on your health has been refuted um, by the studies, uh, by the study that showed that a uh, decrease in that specific area of your brain can lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. Dementia. Um, 
there was no evidence that, or there's been evidence that does not support the idea that there are transferable benefits, uh, specifically in older players, and that uh, video games often do not increase the social lives of players and do not uh, uh, ad adequately supplement their social lives. So, thank you. Right, the structural stuff is solid, that's fine, it's easy to follow. The first point, basically, you present a counterclaim uh, suggesting that it doesn't have this. We've got rebuttal evidence that's being provided here. Uh, this, is a, this is the issue that I see on all of the supporting points. There's never really a discussion of what the advocate's evidence is or how they've reasoned and a contrast to the evidence that you're presenting. I think you've got good counterclaims and good rebuttal evidence on each of the points that you're presenting, but I have no way of assessing it in contrast to what the advocate talked about. And I think you need to do a little bit more comparison and explanation about why your reasoning is more successful than the advocate's reasoning. Uh, the challenge on the first point that I, if this was a debate and the uh, advocate was coming back and talking about this, they might very well say, well, we weren't suggesting that we were going to fix Alzheimer's. We were talking about improving people's ability to function in their brain to operate uh, throughout their lives. Your evidence just applies to people who are late in life as opposed to folks who might be early in life. Uh, and it's not mutually exclusive. Your point might be perfectly valid, but it does, none of it responds to the argument that we presented here. I, I don't know that exactly that's what their evidence was, but it seems like that would be a potential response. Uh, the same thing that you had on the second point, which actually seems to suggest that there's a, a, a counter um, uh, effect from using these kinds of games, which reduces people's ability to function and increases the risk of development of Alzheimer's. I thought that was an interesting risk, and now suddenly I have no desire to play video games whatsoever. Uh, you know, as a consequence, at my advanced age, I always thought, well, maybe when I retire, I'll start playing video games. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. You know, your study suggests that I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, you know, and, and like I said, I thought that you found good evidence on each of the points that you're talking about. The problem that I have is that there's just not enough contrast to the, the points that the advocate presented. For instance, on that last point, if the advocate presented no evidence and just had anecdotal kinds of things or a hypothetical that when people play online they're going to interact more and so on and so forth, and you could say, well, one study found that more than, you know, that half of the people who are playing, who are women, never play with anybody else, and half of those who do only play with somebody else once in a while, that doesn't seem to suggest like there's much there. And what is the advocate's evidence on this? You know, that, well, generally people socialize when they're online. My evidence is much clearer on that point than their evidence is, and we can give a contrast. Because remember, the point of the argument is not just to present the counterclaim, but to explain why your argument is better, superior. How, if I was making this decision and trying to decide what I believe, you've got to sell that extra point and say, you know, this is why my position is the one that you ought to be listening to. All right, so nothing bad, just.